Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and today we're stocking for the market stand. So the only thing we're doing today, I've been outside all day. I'm exhausted, but I need to do a little bit every night. I get it ready. Um, hobo bread. This is wonderful hobo bread. You're going to love it. It's an easy, quick bread. It freezes well and uh, it's a hot seller in my market stand. So there's a few ingredients that go in here. So we're going to get started. I'm making, I'm doubling mine. I'll put the recipe for a single batch in the description box. So I need a cup and a half of sugar. Okay. And to that, I am going to add my six tablespoons of melted butter. Remember, I'm doubling this. Okay. I'm going to do two eggs. And I'm going to whip this all together. Okay, I need four cups of flour. There's three. And four. Okay, so we'll get this mixed up. I want to put two teaspoon, or excuse me, one teaspoon of salt, because I'm doubling. Mm -hmm. There we go. One teaspoon of salt, and I need four teaspoons of baking soda. There we go. We gotta break up the lumps in it. Okay, one more. There we go. And that's four teaspoons of baking soda. Not baking powder, baking soda. that in and then with this <clears throat> I've got your raisins a single batch calls for one cup of raisins and one cup of boiling water you put the two together and you let them soak for about an hour you don't drain the raisins you need the raisins and all the liquid we're also gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, now, I'm gonna mix this with my spatula. This is a delicious bread. My friends love it when I make this. I'm surprised Tracy isn't over here. 
If she finds out I made this without making her a loaf, oh, she'll be heartbroken. All right, so we got that mixed up really good. I don't want to forget the raisin. Okay, then I take one cup of pecans, chopped pecans, and I fold them in. Okay, so easy. I love this stuff. Now, sometimes I make it because for my market stand, you don't have to, you don't have to put the nuts in it. Sometimes I make it with nuts, and I'll double it. I'll make four loaves, two loaves with nuts, and two loaves without nuts. And it does freeze well, so after it's in my market stand for a day, <clears throat> I'll put it in my outside free, uh, my freezer in my market stand. And people buy stuff out of my freezer, too. It's great. Okay. We're going to use that in a minute. I'm going to spray my pans. And I always spray them over my sink because I've got all wood floors. And that would be a total disaster. Okay. I'll slide these over here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to divide this between both loaf pans. Scrape your bowl so you don't waste any. Okay. We got it. My oven is set to 350. They look good and even in here. So, here we go. These are going to turn out beautiful. Okay. When my oven is preheated. Oh, it is preheated. Beautiful. These are going to go in the oven, 350 degrees, for 45 to 50 minutes. Until, you know, when you insert a toothpick, it comes out clean they're done okay friends this is all done and it turned out beautiful the other ones over there cooling off a little more we're gonna cut into this and it's still warm but it's not hot so I'm gonna cut the crust off beautiful and then I'm gonna cut a nice piece that I can show you how beautiful this bread turns out Take a look at that, friends, with the, the uh, pecans and the raisins in there and that beautiful dark bread. It's just wonderful. So we'll give this a try. We'll put a little, got to put a little butter on it. Mr. Wayne will have some in the morning with his coffee because he's in bed. It's like 10 o'clock at night. But I have to do things late at night because I'm outside all day. We're going to try this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You're going to love that. Mm-hmm. Turned out beautiful. So, I this turned out wonderful. And I'm going to put that one 
in the market stand. This one's for Tracy and my husband and us to have coffee with. I'll put the recipe in the description box for a single batch. And then if you want to make two, you can double it. But this freezes well as, as well. It freezes very good. So you will have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen. I hope you give this recipe a try. And I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.